When you think of Nepal, the first thing that probably comes to your mind is the majestic Himalayan mountain range and its tourist locations. But there is another side of Nepal that gets unnoticed. It's the country's capital Kathmandu, where poverty forces thousands of people to become waste pickers. They collect trash from the streets and sell the materials such as plastic, metal or paper extracted from it. The Unforgotten Funds visited some of the waste dumps and slums of Kathmandu to learn about their lives. This is the grandmother of three such children. When asked about what change she wants to see, she said she wants to see her grandchildren becoming educated and believes that is the only path to a brighter future. This is Komal. He goes to the local government school in the area and dreams of joining the Nepali army. We interviewed his teacher to see how he's doing in school. She said that the COVID-19 pandemic has really harmed the education for a lot of children, especially kids like Komal, whose family is in dire poverty. Komal is a bright kid, but she believes that his situation at home greatly affects his performance in school. He's not regularly coming to class, and she often finds him physically weak, as it's common for him to go to sleep in an empty stomach. We then visited a waste dump where Mr. Kumar and his family lives. The children spend their days at the dump going to the waste to extract items that can be sold when they're not in school. However, his son Dilsan Kumar has higher dreams. What's your name? Dilsan Kumar. Dilsan Kumar. In what class? UKG. UKG. What do you want to do with the kids? The lives of the waste pickers are stuck in a vicious cycle. If the children grow up in poverty, they end up being waste pickers too later in their lives. The only way to break the cycle is to provide them with education and a better standard of living. This is why the Unforgotten Funds has partnered up with PSD Nepal to provide education to the children of waste pickers in Kathmandu. So these projects that really help them for their education, not only the education, they help for the like a uh, good meal for their even parents and themselves. So in the past, they have been, might have like just two meals a day. And now when they want to go to school, they can have a snacks at the school. The school provides the snacks also. And in the, at the home also, we are planning to help the family also. So we are planning to buy the grocery for the family so that they can have a, at least like a basic food uh, at home as well, so that their life is really uh, going to be changed if we are able to help those children. Join our mission to break the cycle of poverty. To learn more, visit www.unforgotten.org. Donation links are provided in the description below.